Researchers at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, Fermilab near Chicago, may be on the cusp of discovering a new force of nature. This would add to the four we already know about, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak forces. The new results build on those announced in 2021 and earlier at the Brookhaven National Laboratory, which first hinted at the possibility of a fifth force in nature. They provide more evidence that particles known as muons aren't behaving in the way predicted by the standard model. Our current best theory of how the known particles and forces in nature work on a fundamental level. Scientists are keen to move beyond the standard model because it can't answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy. What is dark energy? The phenomenon that causes the expansion of the universe to accelerate. What's dark matter? The invisible stuff that makes galaxies spin faster than they should. Why doesn't the universe contain equal amounts of matter and antimatter? The Fermilab experiment called G-2 involves accelerating muons around a 50-foot diameter ring at close to the speed of light. Muons are similar to electrons but about 200 times as massive. Like electrons, they're charged and they spin, which makes them act like tiny magnets and wobble like spinning tops when placed in a magnetic field. In the experiment, they're made to wobble using powerful superconducting magnets. The results from Fermilab show that muons wobble faster than the standard model says they should. The rate of wobble depends on how the muons interact with other particles and forces, so the discrepancy with the standard model's prediction suggests there's some agency at work that lies outside known physics. The latest measurement of the muon's wobble pins it down to the ninth digit. In fact, it's the most precise measurement of a quantity in particle physics ever made using an accelerator. By the end of 2025, the Fermilab team hoped to increase the precision to the twelfth digit enough to confirm that new physics is at work. Meanwhile, a rival team at Europe's Large Hadron Collider is hoping to get there first with its own results. But there's a complication. Even as the experimentalists have been closing in on their goal of confirming a breakdown in the standard model, Theorists have begun to disagree about what the standard model actually predicts about the muon's wobble. To understand a particle's behavior, physicists have to take into account all the ways that known particles and forces interact with each other. Theoretical predictions about the muon's wobble are complicated by the fact that muons can emit photons of light which can do all sorts of elaborate things before they get reabsorbed. One of these is to temporarily split into a quark and its antimatter equivalent, which can then interact with themselves and any other short-lived particles, affecting the muon's wobble in the process. Theorists have come up with two main ways to tackle the problem. The more traditional approach leads to exactly the kind of mismatch between theory and observation that's been seen at Fermilab. But a newer method, which relies on supercomputer simulations, estimates the muon's wobbles to be much closer to those that have been observed. So we're going to have to wait a bit longer. By 2025, theorists may have resolved their disagreement over how much the standard model says the muon should wobble. Hopefully, just in time to coincide with new super-precise measurements from the lab.